us and the gang, we're doing something a little different today. We're not, we've already got our motorcycle rides in, now we're doing our boat ride. Bryce has got his new to him pontoon, 24 foot. Kicking him back at Hardy Lake. Captain Butthole. Captain Butthole. Could be worse. I'm going to try to get some night fishing in tonight, too. Back this past spring, we was fishing right over there on those banks over there. Everything's kind of growed up now. Floating party barge. That's what Donald just called that. Got a few people out here partying. Over there listening to Snoop Dogg or something. There's a big party going on right there. There's the big oh, party on the lake. See if I can zoom in on this one. Trish says that when they come out here, they come out. There's a big party barge right there. Probably about four or five boats right there, it looks like. guy's got some kind of, I don't know what you call that, but it's powered by that jet ski. I'm sure it's pretty expensive. He's taking his jet ski away from that boat. I'm going to do that in North Carolina at the beach. That motherfucker is me to mom and daddy in Harrisburg. Take the really Lori let me come back here and sit up with her. Oh, hi. <laughs> I told her I didn't stink. I didn't think it did anyway. <laughs> she don't really care if I did or not. So, hi, Addie. You just want the flirt. Addie, you're on YouTube. You're on the TV. <laughs> On the YouTube, so she has. You're on the YouTube there, Sandra. Nice. <laughs> Donald's giving Donald, a sexy pose. Donald's fishing. Let's try it again. See if we can get out of here. There's the captain. <laughs> captain. The boat, uh -huh. I think with the boat overheated. Captain, no hopefully, sinking ship. Hopefully, we're not stranded out here. Well, we're dead in the water. Actually, so. <laughs> Bryce is trying to get this. Uh, Trying to get it going now. He's on the phone with the, one of his uncles to figure out what the problems are. Hopefully we'll get this going. Well guys, we had to get a tow. Looks like we had a bad fuel line. Uh, it was dry rotted. This guy here was nice enough to stop and throw us a line. Gave us electrical tape or duct tape, I'm not sure, but when we get back to the dock here, we're gonna try to see if we can uh, wrap this up and maybe at least get it back up on the trailer. But uh, it should be a simple fix for Donald Bryce. Uh, Donald, he works for an auto parts store, so he, he knows how to get these lines pretty cheap. So, Ha, 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 ha.
Well, at least everybody's having a good time. We come quite a ways away from uh, the dock also where we, we uh, launched the boat. Just thankful this guy was nice enough to give us a give us a tow. It's a good thing we had some cloud cover. We'd be frying out here. Moving at a pretty good pace right now. Well, you can't say we didn't do a boat ride today. I'm just really thankful there's still good people in this world. Usually people on the water are like a community. Like that guy there didn't charge me a dime for that, none of it. I tried to give him money, he's like... We're back up on the... Let me tell you what the problem was. We got back in the parking lot with the boat. I'm going to go back here and see if I can find out if they see anything. He had to put new axles on. That's, he tried to bring it up from Alabama once before and it didn't make the 100 miles. We had to have, take it back, have it all over the place. There's a guy. There's a guy when I point out. He goes, It's a nice boat. I think it's a 2004. I had them. He said, by God, I got rid of them, put 13 inch tires. 24 footer. 